Hi, my name is Aaron Douglas. Uh, I'm an actor, and I'm best known for my portrayal of Chief Galen Tyrrell on Sci-Fi's Battlestar Galactica. I'm very proud of Battlestar Galactica. Um, I got to be a part, a small part of this uh, incredible show. It's afforded me the opportunity to travel the world and meet all kinds of really interesting people, people not in the industry, people in the industry. And they say, never meet your heroes, but sometimes that's not the case. Um, I have two men that I idolized growing up. Uh, one of them I never got to meet. Uh, he's top of my list, John Candy. Um, I have a massive affection for John. And the second one, um, fortunately, I did. It was January 8th, 2007, and I'm in uh, Beverly Hills, and I'm walking back from my agent's office in, on Rodeo Drive to my hotel up on Sunset. And I've got my phone out and I'm texting my friends back in Vancouver. Remember, this is January in Canada. It's cold, even though it's Vancouver. And uh, I'm walking past the Jaguar dealership and I'm texting and I'm saying, it's 85 degrees in sunny Southern California. How are you guys doing, suckers? And I hit send. And as I hit send, the gentleman walking towards me smiles, big smile, and nods. And I went, ah, and it's Battlestar. We're right in the height of Battlestar. We get a lot of that. People like, chief, yelling across the street. Anyways, this guy walks by and I went, why do I know that? It's out of context. When, when you see people that you see on TV, it's so out of context, you don't think about it. And I keep walking and I went, oh my God, that's Robin Williams, my number two. Like, Robin Williams just smiled at me and nodded. I'm losing my mind. He's there apparently for the Golden Globes. I'm freaking out. So I keep walking and I pull my phone back out and I text the boys back home again. I say, it's still 85 degrees in sunny Southern California. And Robin Williams just smiled and nodded at me. How cool. Send. And as I hit send, I hear this voice. Are you on Battlestar Galactica? And I'm in the middle of an intersection. And I stop and I turn and there is Robin Williams. And I went, uh, yeah. And he grabbed me by the arm and dragged me across the street and planted me on the sidewalk. And I'm standing there looking at this man, and he just launches. He spoke in machine gun. It's a da 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 And I'm like, what? He goes, Battlestar Galactic, it's my favorite show. Why did you move her from Sunday to Friday, Friday to Sunday? What's going on? Say hi to Mary for me. Say hi to Mary. Can I be on your show? I want to be on your show. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. People are walking by going, holy crap, that's Robin Williams. Who the hell is that guy? And I'm freaking out going, oh, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, the show is so elegant. The show is so elegant. He kept repeating this elegant thing. I love it. I'm on What's happening? Don't tell me. I want to know, but don't tell me. And it just goes on for seemingly like five minutes. But apparently, I guess it was probably only like two minutes, um, but it felt like forever and I'm in this dream sequence and Robin Williams is barking at me in the most beautiful way. And I finally just said, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're my, my, one of my heroes. And he said, ah, we're talking about Battlestar Galactica. I'm like, uh, yes sir, of course. So I just stood there and took it. And uh, he said, anyways, uh, when I come up to Vancouver, can I visit the set? I'd love to visit the set, I want to be on the show. I said, Absolutely, whatever you need. I just get away. He goes, okay, great, thanks, bye. And he's gone. Like, ninja dust. And I'm, uh, 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 looking around. I can see all these eyes looking at me going, what was that? I go, I don't know. I'm just, you know, stand at the edge of the curb. Send the bus because I'm stepping into traffic. I'm done. The world is good. Um, amazing. Pull out my phone. It's still 85 degrees in southern, southern California. And, uh, yeah, I... Freak, freaking out, losing my mind. Um, he was the sweetest, kindest, most gracious man. So, cut to, same year, July. I'm in Las Vegas, the MGM Grand, sitting around the pool with seven of my idiot friends. It's, we're there for a stag. And uh, I'm laying on a lounger, and it's sort of middle afternoon, and one of the guys goes to the bathroom, comes back, and he says, hey Douglas, guess who's playing the Grand Garden Arena tonight? And they go, oh, who? He goes, your buddy, Robin Williams. Ah, laughs all around, laughs all around. So I get up and I go and I look at the poster. And sure enough, Robin Williams, one show, one night, Grand Garden Arena, tonight. Whew. Well, we should go. Oh, yeah, yeah, where well, you're going to get tickets from your buddy? Hmm, okay. So I text one of the Battlestar producers. Who can get anything? If I said I needed to be on the moon in the morning, this person could get it done. So I text and I say, hey, any chance you can get eight tickets to the Robin Williams show tonight? And uh, I, I was a little more sneak, snarky than that. I said, you get 20 minutes, get your tickets. <coughs> and uh, anyways, so uh, about 15 minutes later, I get a text back. It says, uh, the tickets are at will call. Okay, guys, we're going on the show. Oh, whatever. So I said, all right, let's uh, get up. 
Let's get dressed, have a shower, get cleaned up, go for a nice meal, and then we'll go to the show. So I go to the will call. There's a big lineup. People are all dressed up. They're looking good. Suits and dresses. And we're just, you know, a bunch of bums in, in shorts and flip-flops and burping and farting our way through life. And uh, I said, okay, you guys just wait here. I'll, I'll go. So I go up and I go up, going through the line. And people are like, eh. Finally get up to the front and this, the guy behind the counter says to the people, he says, enjoy the show. Have a lovely evening. And he looks at me and goes, ew. And I walked up and I said, hi, uh, there's tickets left here for Aaron Douglas. He literally does this. Don't see them. Sorry, sir. Uh, next. And I said, no, 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 no. They're there. They, they were just called in. Um, well, I don't have a record of them. Is there somebody you can call? They were literally just called in like 45 minutes ago. <sighs> well, who left them for you? I said, Robin. And my friends are laughing in the background because this isn't going anywhere. And uh, so he picks up and he calls like man Robin's manager or people or something. He said, hi, yes, I have an Aaron Douglas here. I had, oh, I see. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Of, oh, yes, yes. Sorry, Mr. Douglas, of course. I'll be right there. Tickets start printing out. and He steps them off. Here you go. All right. And comp. Come walk out to my friends and go, comp. There you go, dummies. So we go up and get dressed and get ready. And we come down and it's showtime. And we walk and we show them to the usher. Oh, yes, of course, Mr. Douglas, right this way. So we start walking down and keep going and keep going. And I could hear my friend in the background, one of the guys just going, he's not stopping. He's not stopping. So we keep going, keep going. Third row, center from the stage. Unbelievable. Robin comes out and he's as brilliant as you would hope and wish he could ever be. Unbelievable. I'm freaking out because this is my hero and I finally get to see him. He's going back and forth, back and forth, and he gets to a little bit about sci-fi. And he does this little sci-fi bit and the audience laughs and he stops and he looks right at me and he winks and then he keeps going and my friend's like, no way that just happened! Um, so I was on cloud nine, uh, on the moon, unbelievable. Cut to, a couple years later, um, I'm uh, hanging out with a buddy of mine, uh, Brad Paisley, he's a, he's a country guy, country music guy, and Brad says, hey, I was at a dinner uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, this is what happened. So he's at this charity dinner, and it's him and Kim, his wife, and Robin's there, and George Lucas is there, and their families, wives, whatever, and uh, Brad leans over to Robin, and he says, I believe you have a, you know, a friend of mine. And uh, Robin says, who's that? And he says, Aaron Douglas. And Robin says, Chief Terrell from Battlestar Galactica. Brad says, yeah. Do you watch Battlestar? Yeah. Oh, so Brad and Robin, ah, Battlestar, Battlestar, Battlestar. They're huge fans. Brad's a monster fan. Ba -da 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 -da. George Lucas leans in and goes, what are you guys talking about? He said, Battlestar Galactica. Oh, I heard that's good. <laughs> you haven't watched Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> so they, these two start going to George Lucas. They go, okay, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. So Brad tells me this story. I thought that was pretty funny. Cut to... A year later, uh, I'm in San Francisco, and uh, my friend Grant Imahara, Grant, love you, buddy. Um, he wants to go for dinner, but he wants to bring a friend of his, this, this woman named Bonnie Burton, who was amazing. At the time, she was working for Lucasfilm. And uh, so we go for dinner. She's a big Battlestar fan. And I start telling this story and, and said that, uh, and she said, oh, I know that story. I know that story. Yeah. I said, well, well, what happened? She goes, oh. He went, he got back from that dinner and then the next couple of days he started watching Battlestar and then he showed up one day at the office and said, great show, loved it, it was fantastic. What just happened? That's how I got George Lucas to watch Battlestar Galactica via Robin Williams. Thank you, Robin.